How you doing folks? Welcome back to the Food Forest Farm here at Tappanoth in North East Scotland. And I'm standing below a small forest garden tree row which is at the top of the vegetable garden. And while it's only 15 meters long, we've packed a lot of different fruiting trees and shrubs and herbaceous perennials in there. We've got cherry and apple and plum and rhubarb, black currant, we've got yosterberry, we've got aliagnus, the autumn olive. As a system, it's growing really well, and especially at this time of year, we've got a lot of biomass growing in the form of the docks and the comfrey. And we're just wanting to come in and do a little bit of a cutback, reinvigorate the system by pruning. We've really got to get in there and take advantage of the biomass that's being produced the docks, the comfrey, even the, the aliagnus. But they are getting very large and they're starting to hide some of the young fruit trees that are in there. There's a morello cherry that's just popping up behind a large, big comfrey plant. The comfrey, the aliagnus are all fantastic support species. And if we cut them down, they should aid in the development of the rest of the trees. So before we start the work that's involved in pruning back this tree row, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour through it so you can see what it looks like before the work begins. <music> Right, so you can see we've got quite a busy scene going on. We've got this amazing amount of comfrey. This is Russian comfrey or Bocking 14. Um, this is the comfrey that is sterile, so it doesn't spread by its seed. So we use this comfrey throughout the farm. And hiding in here is a beautiful little, little Morello cherry, all flowering away. This is one of the reasons that we want to cut back, is that this comfrey is shading the morello, also restricting airflow. Um, so we might as well cut back the comfrey. It can be cut back several times per year and, and will grow back again. Um, so we've put the morello cherry here uh, because we're underneath this sycamore which casts a lot of shade. The morello cherry can certainly tolerate a lot of shade. And to the south of the row, we've got some rhubarb. These rhubarb crowns were only planted a couple of years ago and uh, they're not doing too bad. We've had a few harvests of rhubarb and we could certainly be cutting a few more. We've got a few nice uh, stems there to cut back. We've got a couple of different varieties, uh, temporarily early. Um, we've got apple delight um, and the apple delight really does have a green apple flavor, which is very nice. Next in row, we've got Aliagnus autumn olive flowering away beautifully right now. Um, so the autumn olive produces an edible berry. One of the main reasons we've planted this in here as, is as a nurse crop because it fixes atmospheric nitrogen. When the leaves drop in autumn or if we purposely chop and drop this tree, then of course we're adding uh, very nitrogen rich leaves and seeds. Um, and flowers to the soil surface, which makes its way into the soil food web and will benefit the fruit trees and the whole system. More comfrey next to this plum, which is Denby, which is a Welsh variety of plum, I think, Welsh cultivar. Uh, we haven't had any fruit from this, so can't tell you what it's like, but um, it seems to be growing away really well. Um, lots of the docks, uh, which you can see are just starting to get to that point where we want to cut them down. Um, Yosterberry and black currants. Another Aliagnus um, before we come to more black currants, um, a dessert variety of apple, and at the end we've got the Siberian pea shrub. So this is another nitrogen fixing shrub. Um, it produces a small bean with some very tiny seeds in it. We also grow them uh, next to where we keep our chickens often uh, because the chickens do enjoy eating the small seeds as a bit of a snack. So that's the tree row. Everything is looking pretty good, growing away well, but um, definitely will benefit from us cutting back the comfrey in the docks. Um, it should bring a lot more vigor to the system and really get everything growing well.
Okay, that's the majority of the comfrey and the docks and thistles and buttercup all cut back. We've used the comfrey to mulch the fruit trees. You can see the cherry here has got a lovely, nice, thick bedding of comfrey around it now. And uh, all the way along we've tried there's certain areas. We've planted comfrey more thickly in certain areas of this road than others. Um, so we had to bring comfrey from certain parts to put around some of the other fruit trees that maybe didn't have comfrey growing around them. But we always try and plant our fruit trees with a circle of comfrey around them just for this instance. And the black currants been treated with the same approach. So I'm just gonna prune a few of the branches off of these Aliagnus now because the Aliagnus can get very big. The Aliagnus that's growing in our six-year-old forest garden tree row systems are very big, three meters tall and wide. We're gonna cut some of the branches off of these now and just add them to the forest floor as well. here we are at the end. What a difference. We can actually see our fruit trees. We started with the comfrey first. We had a lot of comfrey growing around this um, sour cherry which we now can see. It was very hidden to begin with. We've also mulched around the rhubarb which we can now see a lot better. The aliagnus, the, the autumn olive, we gave a good haircut um, that took a wee while chopping that up with secateurs. Hopefully this will grow and we'll have a lot softer growth and softer stems that maybe we can cut with a machete just to speed things up. But for now we're just using secateurs. Going all the way along to the plum. Again, just got the same treatment of chopping, dropping the comfrey and the aliagnus. Here's the second aliagnus pruned right back and the black currants now no longer having to peek out through any tall comfrey or docks. We've also found these logs that we put in um, when we first put this system in place. These are old shiitake mushroom logs. Uh, you can see the holes left from drilling in the inoculated mushroom dowels. Uh, so these have be purposely been piled up here just to be food for fungi uh, and to start creating that forest soil that we're aiming to get here. So yeah, definitely a rejuvenated forest garden tree row. Hope that was useful for you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.